And, and in fact, I want to talk um, further about the relevance transformation um, and, and, and what we mean by that and, and some, of, some of what Jim was, was illustrating here. Uh, we use the million, uh, Dell, Dell deals in, in billions, uh, that's a different scale, but same concept. By mass personalization, we essentially mean that since basically the last um, century, uh, we've seen the evolution from mass marketing and sales where, you know, we've all heard uh, the famous uh, Henry Ford statement, uh, you can get it any color as long as it's black. Uh, I personally grew up, I'm old enough to say that I personally grew up in a mass marketing world where we had very few TV channels, everybody wore pretty much the same thing, consumed pretty much the same colors and the same cars, and etc. cetera. Uh, we've seen after that uh, a whole movement around segmentation. And all, I would argue that in technology, um, we're pretty much still at that stage where the massive amount of data that needs to be consumed unless you use AI, which we'll talk about in a minute, only enables segmentation. And segmentation means, you know, based on a certain set of data, we'll put you in a certain group and we'll treat you in a certain way. The goal of mass personalization takes it to a whole other scale. As it says here, a million customers need to translate into a million experiences. And, and that's what we mean by, in fact, the world has been talking about one-to-one -one marketing and one-to-one -one everything for a long time. But basically the concept here is this idea of winning at every interaction. And as we'll see, that's really only enabled thanks to AI because it's not humanly manageable to um, design so many experiences and especially not in the, digital, in the digital world where everything needs to happen in real time. At Coveo, we look at our business as we, we say we're in the win business and uh, you know, it's kind of a winning at every interaction, win business. What we mean by that essentially is that um, we are in the business of delivering what you need next. And fundamentally, that is what per mass personalization is. It is not about delivering necessarily what you looked for. It is about understanding your context and your intent and using AI basically trying to derive what you need next. Um, let's look at Amazon. And Amazon is, is, is a bit of a cliche. Um, in a way because everybody talks about them, but the reason why everybody talks about Amazon is because they're the best in the world, quite simple. Amazon, the reality is Amazon did not create e-commerce. What they created is, is relevance and immediacy. They created the most relevant consumer and buyer experience and they added on top of that immediacy and the rest is history. Now, the way they did that is obviously what interests us because we're in that business. The way they did that is, is with armies of data scientists. Um, I invite you actually to go on YouTube and look at the 1999, almost 20 years ago, interview of Jeff Bezos at 60 minutes. It's a six or seven minute video. It's very interesting. And he talks about he talks uh, about the fact that, uh, uh, he talks about how he's collecting data, and the more data he collects on customers and interactions, the more that data will serve him, in fact, to recommend the next thing that they might want to buy. And and again, the rest is history. And by the way, ironically, in that same interview, the um, the um, interviewer. Uh, tells him at one point, he says, well, your market cap is almost as big as Sears Roebuck. That seems unbelievable. And the rest, again, is, is history. The point about Amazon that is particularly interesting is that 35%, according to a McKinsey article, and the reference is here, 35% of their revenue comes from their recommendation engines. So that's quite powerful. It basically means that they're not about selling what people were asking at the first place. They're about understanding the context and the intent of a buyer so that they can sell something. And that's quite Im impressive when you, when you think that 35% of their revenue is what they're doing. What we mean by relevance 
everywhere or by winning at every interaction is we mean that across the entire cycle of a customer experience from the very first minute that they hit the website to their e-commerce experience through their sales human assisted experience then as they consume the product, even their in-product experience, Laurent will talk to you about how Coveo is embedded within Adobe Photoshop in a few minutes. Their in-product experience, the customer community experience, and, and in the back end, in the back office, their call center experience, and et cetera, that that experience needs to be relevant at every point, as I mentioned before, and really moving from an omni-channel strategy, and we, I made up that, that statement, an omni-personal strategy, basically totally erasing the customer's awareness of the channel and being relevant everywhere by consolidating the experience manually in a programmatic way that would not be possible the reason why we're standing here today is because five years ago our team started investing in AI and AI is absolutely a game changer as we'll see in a few moments let me give you an example of what we mean by understanding the sum total of interactions and some of our customers are doing it already and we expect you guys to do that more because that's quite interesting. So let's assume you're using a thermostat like this one, which happens to be a Honeywell thermostat, and Honeywell is a Coveo customer. And so that thermostat is no longer a dumb device, obviously. That thermostat now is, an, is, is IoT, is an Internet of Thing. It stores data. It collects data. Every time you adjust it, it records that information. So the way you adjust that thermostat and the way and the data within the thermostat and the way you play with it might be quite useful if you as the consumer call the customer service center or, or go online uh, with a self-service experience. The fact that you've, you've, you've um, uh, adjusted the thermostat in a certain way is, is, is a good set of data, in fact, that should influence relevance as I'm talking to you or within your customer service interactions. The way you, you adjust the thermostat can also tell me, basically, whether you're an energy freak, an energy conscious person, a geek, or someone who doesn't care because of the data and how would we figure it out? Well, AI has the ability to essentially, in simple terms, the way I explain it to my wife is I say, AI has the ability to find your digital soulmate and match you and figure out what their behavior is. And so essentially, if I understand that you're a geek or if I understand that you're an energy conscious person because your behavior, the behavior that I read in the data tells me such, I can basically use that to influence the e-commerce experience. So the next time you come to the e-commerce experience, I will take into account the fact that you're a geek and probably propose you some geek products. Now, at the same time, the sum total of your interactions on the customer self-service experience tells me even more about who you are and further influence that e-commerce experience. Now, Back to, back to the, the community, again, the data about your e-commerce experience and the settings of your thermostat and your behavior will also influence the type of information that I will push to you, basically, on that customer's community. And then as you hit the website, I'll further figure out some of your interests and so on, and then so on and so on and so on. And so the idea here is, is quite important and quite revolutionary, and this is why we call it the relevance transformation. The idea is by unifying signals across the data, all these interactions basically and all that data provides further information that, for, that later serves to improve relevance continuously. 
I told you at the beginning we're quite passionate about what we do at Coveo. We have good reasons to be because we're starting to see these results. In fact, we've demonstrated we're going to be talking about e-commerce at this conference and introducing some of the pretty neat things that we're doing. But this concept is so important that we've been able to measure up to 7 or 9% improvements in, in e-commerce in average revenue per visit basically within a matter of six weeks of, of machine learning by throwing a bunch of data around customer service, around uh, in-product behavioral data, and so on. The reality is the more data we absorb, the better we get. And so that becomes quite important.